What's up guys, it's Kate. So, I've shot this video twice already. Once at the one week mark, once, well, it's really at the one and a half week mark, once at the two week mark. Um, but we just kept pushing, we kept going through stuff, so I thought, okay, I'm gonna make it into a what's possible in two weeks kind of video, and that'll give you guys an idea of what a new account is capable of um, in the game. So we're gonna grind some arena and we're gonna chat it up. Now, off the bat, this isn't a free to play account. Uh, and so far we spent $215 and 200 of those came during the Cyber Monday offers. Having said that, when I set this goal to get back to a map six level in 90 days, I was not interested in buying my way there by buying crystal offers or spending on revives or anything like that. The goal was to, knowing it wasn't going to be free to play, the goal was to get stuff that would allow me to keep progressing through the content and would allow me to keep um, getting the rewards that are inherent to the game, to completing stuff in the game. So those were unit deals. The other deals, for the most part, just don't really interest me. But units allow us to keep going and keep grinding and build quickly. So that's what we've been using our energy on. And we still have a good deal of units. We've been grinding arena as well, so that helps too. So let's get into the roster. Really what we care about is the four stars. I do have Deadpool. That was the first thing I bought from the deal. Um, and then I did buy that $5 three-star awakening gem, that generic, but really just to see kind of what his regen would feel like once he was awakened. Uh, we really, we don't have recovery as a master yet. Um, I just wanted to kind of get a feel for him because really three stars max or not can't do much when, once you get into act five, um, the fights are just so long. Their health pool is pretty low. Even with regen, you'll be down in one combo. So the important thing was the four stars for now. And as far as four stars, we've got these four. Gwenpool at 440, Vision at 440, Cap at 220, Yandu who we got for Arena at 110, Deadpool Winter Soldier, Spider-Man Miles Morales all at, well, Miles Morales is almost at 110, but all of them at 110. Miss Marvel working her way up to 330. Cap will go up to 330 next. Um, now, some of this we did use T4B from that we got from the offers, but having said that, from the, the Cyber Monday deals, having said that, the uh, we're capped out on T4B already again from finishing Act 4 and all of that. So, those resources. Um, if you keep clearing content, uh, also heroic and what we did of master and the event quest that, uh, cause we, we really, we started this account on the 24th of November, I believe. So it two weeks was, I think yesterday. Um, and so this is an update up to last night and everything we did last night. Now, when we ran Heroic and Master, we only had one 440. It was Vision. Gwenpool, I think, I think was still at 220. We were working her way up to 330 and so on. We did, for the event quests, have to complete normal 100% too for the Alpha. We didn't have to, but I wanted to get as many Alpha Catalysts as I could so we weren't strapped for Alphas. Otherwise, the event quests that, re <laughs> that really killed me that we had to do are all the class T4 or T3 catalyst ones because they get they give you like no shards. Um, I think we got a fully formed once after running it over and over and over and over again. And obviously to get from um, rank from 110 up to 330, or no, from I think 110 to 220, no, from 220 to 330 and then 330 to 440, you need three of them. So for both Gwenpool and Vision, we ran that, and then we had to buy, spend 400 units on each to buy those two because we ran it so many times and we were getting like nothing from those drops. And time was running out. And yes, you may say for 400 units, we could have ran it so many more times energy-wise, but there's no guarantee that those drops would have come. They were just, the shards were next to nothing. Um, the, they've really dropped the drop rates. They used to be much better for those back in the day. 
but um, but that's where we're at for the roster as far as progression when we go into story we finished act one finished act two we didn't 100 percent them because we didn't need the three star crystals at the time we finished act three sorry act one act, act two finished act three then went act four and finished that then went back and 100 percent at act three for another four star crystal um from which we pulled miles on stream and it was lame so that was that and then yesterday morning i think i decided to see how we would fare in act five and we got um 5.1 point one and point two done and then last night we did point three and point four now i think we we did spend i think we got like five we had a couple of revives in the stash and i think we got four other revives total I think I'm trying it wasn't many because I wasn't I didn't want to go into this and spend my way through it um, uh, but we did I mean with two 440s it's really tough because you just don't have the health pool once your top two champs are gone um, the other ones don't do hardly anything so that's why we're, we're working cap and cap Marvel who hit surprisingly hard even on duped I uh, I used to kind of dog on people who uh, ranked her up on duped I, I say Cat Marvel. I mean Matt, OG Miss Marvel. But um, I used to dog on people who, who ranked her up on Duke, but she still hits really hard. And if you watch any of Seton's stuff on his Whale Milk, Milker account, I think his three star did a ton of work for him. So that was the um, that's the plan to get get them ranked up. Most of those, I think three or three of those revives came on that Iron Patriot Mesmerize node that you can't do anything about because it's it's just such a such a BS thing. I mean you don't you don't he evades randomly at some point during the fight, which auto stuns you and then he gets you down in one combo. So it's silly. He's got a seven percent chance, so I mean I don't know. You get four combos in max at times and then it happens. So what are you going to do? But um, we'll see. I think, as far as this progression, that we'll be able to finish and get uncollected within this next week. Um, I wish we had regen champs. I would so 440 a regen champ right now. Uh, I'm jealous of Seton because his well milker account has like three regen champs. Um, but we're working with two 440s, Cap and Miss Marvel. Uh, we'll help once we get them up and we'll see uh, what we do we've been going through modox we've been going through hard once in a while expert again we don't have much in the way of health pool so um sometimes we can complete it sometimes we get kind of stuck i haven't been rolling too many of those dice um i should to make it as easy as possible but um but the rewards are coming in um and uh once we have a couple more uh, a couple more characters ranked up that should help us a lot with um, just the overall um, health pool so that's our progression so far as far as the event quest what we did this last month was and i said a little bit i went over this we 100 percent of normal and heroic and then the thing that really killed me was master we went all the way through finished and then we were going for 100%. So we 100%ed the first two chapters, right? Uh, there's six chapters in any event quest. I call them chapters, I guess that's what they are, but we're levels. So maybe it's chapter one has levels one and two and so on. But the first four levels, uh, we 100 percent the first two, then the third, then we are going through the fourth. Now, I say we, it's like we're in this together. That's why I keep saying we, and I don't want to... Um, correct myself every time i should say i but it feels weird to say i've been doing this and i've been doing that it just sounds like i'm um bragging so anyway um so for master i really missed time the i was working so hard on getting stuff ready for streaming for daily streaming which we do now and um getting the youtube channel set up that i i really didn't grind enough early enough to ensure that um i would finish so with master i don't think we c 
could have done chapters five and six 100% without spending on revives, and I didn't want to spend my way through it. I mean, you had a couple fights at the time. We only had one in Perry and nothing in Stupefy. We had one 440 champ, and the rest were 110s or lower. So um, the Nightcrawler fights with just one in Perry would have been um, awful because you would have lost characters so much trying to switch him because you can't play the parry game with no parry time um from stupefy it, it just it would have been a pain and then you hit the ice fan path and you automatically lose a bunch to cold snap so um i wasn't planning on 100 percenting it but i had two paths left in chapter four and was running through them when i realized time was about to run uh, to run out um we could have definitely done that and that would have brought us um a bunch more shards so this month we'll be much smarter about it and uh, we're already going through it um so that we can finish oh we got a new modox up i'll have to get into that but um so we're working through 100 percenting heroic so we can get to master we'll be uncollected too and i don't know depending on our <laughs> the way our roster's progressing we're gonna take a shot uh, maybe at uncollected um towards the end of the event Arena. I showed you Yandu. I um, managed to get him in the third round. So the first couple rounds were pretty tough. We're in the beginner bracket, but we just didn't have the um, the characters. So we scored about 450,000 the first couple rounds. Uh, didn't get the characters. Ended up getting Yandu with about 1.1 mil in the third round. We should get Star-Lord twice now. Um, it's so nice being in the beginner bracket, even with the limited rosters, uh, and being able to get these champs because... Obviously, it's a free way to grow your four-star roster. So we may do that. We may even get so because it's a lot of crappy characters after um, Star Lord up until Stark Spidey. What we might do is get them, rank them up to rank three, and sell them and regrind for them just to speed up our five-star shard um, progression. So. Masteries, I'm making a vid on Masteries right now, but what we did was basically phase one was obviously parry, dexterity, and one in limber to open that up. I mean, to, to open the two up. Phase two, and again, this is all going to be in a video on what I think the progression path should be for Masteries for um, anyone who's like a beginner or looking to respect. Phase two, obviously, we just wanted to max block proficiency. It's, I mean, <laughs> you need that for your champ resiliency. Phase three, we went one in strength, one in greater strength, and three in courage initially. Then we respect once we opened up Pierce, and because you start have to start spending on mastery cores at that point. So we respect once we open those up. We did open up precision and cruelty. They're expensive. They're five cores each, I think. But, um, I mean, it just makes such a big difference. Obviously, these are the must-have masteries everyone knows, but they're expensive when you're first getting started, so I went without them as quickly as I, or as long as I could. And then we started opening up the, um, we opened up, um, I mean, we, we maxed Stupefy, opened up Petrify, uh, and put three in Pacify because you start running into magics pretty quickly, um, and it's huge if you don't want to lose characters for no reason. Um, so that's what we did, then went back and, and uh, went three and parry. Um, we'll see what we do next. Uh, we might open up salve. Definitely if we get a regener, uh, we would just put one in salve so we could start opening up recovery, but we don't have a decent four-star regen champ, so we're waiting. Um, obviously, we'll, we'll max glass cannon at some point and then go into assassin and deep wounds, which are must, but again, some of the most expensive masteries in the game. So we'll see how we do that. Um, we talked a little bit. So far, we've been using the free potions we get. Again, I didn't want to spend. Um, we did, I think we got, like like I said, four, five, maybe six revives. I know we did have to use, um, I think, one in Act 4. One or two in Act 4 um, for one of the bosses. And I don't remember. Well, one for Maestro. For, you know, you mess up on that degen on that um, S1 timing and uh, your toast. And then one on one of the previous levels, and I don't remember, maybe, I don't remember which one, but it was on the boss. Um, 
so not too much. I, I really didn't want to do that, but it's they're hard to come by right now. We're not getting too many from the Daily Crystals, so and as I recall, the uncollected ones weren't doing much better as far as um, drops, but for for revives. But we'll see. We've just been using the free ones to kind of top up our champs towards the end of these uh, when we get into the you know um, Act Five maps. The only problem is um, you're at a disadvantage because only two of your champs have significant uh, health to work with. So uh, it'll be nicer once we have more 440s and we'll be able to 440 at least two champs in the next uh, week or so. So we talked about um, what we spent already. Uh, I'm looking at the notes and referencing them as we talk about this. Um, and then resources for future use. We do have some uh, stuff from the offers like we talked about, some of the gems. We have a generic, we have a four-star mutant, and we have a five-star mutant, uh, which will come in handy. Um, and we also have three tier 4ccs. Uh, yeah, we have almost six tier 4 basics. We're one... Where are we at with alphas? Um, we have eight um man this tier two we got to start running content to uh grab tier two alphas for our first 455 which i'm hoping comes at some point soon but um tier four Kalos catalyst we have uh we have a uh, tech we have a mutant and we have a cosmic uh that's it we missed the daily logging calendar we started one day late in the game and missed the t4 cc from that like seven day calendar uh that they did at the end of november by one day so that was a bummer but um this will be good uh moving forward we did um i'm let me say i'm really happy with the state of the game and the progression now back in the day it took us so long to get our first four star i mean months um and now we're up to what eight um and with the ninth after this arena coming tomorrow so i'm i'm super happy with the, um, the state of the game of course i know we're not all starting on the same on an even even playing field i know this is my second time through um but i think it's been a really good uh exercise and i say this in the mastery fit it's a, a really good exercise in, in discernment and only picking the stuff you really need to keep progressing to do the relevant content because moving forward we're going to prioritize five stars so we'll see we'll do whatever we can with the four stars but we want to prioritize five stars because uh we need to get our prestige in a respectable spot we also need a line clear we want to get into a map five alliance as quickly as we can and we can hold our own with 440s it's just about getting getting into an alliance that doesn't necessarily care that your defenders may be 330s for a little while um things like that so we'll see what um um how we how we go about it we need to get uncollected first again we need to get a regen champ we're gonna start farming potions on winter soldier on um realm of legends winter soldier we are also gonna farm the obviously the halls of healing and the gold realm that's about to come around uh we're gonna go through that like crazy and then um keep going through the event quests 100 percent heroic and master see what we do with uncollected once we get uncollected uh but we we definitely want to be getting those uncollected crystals every day so um and that'll give us some chances at four star champs too really after that we eventually want to get to a point where we're doing Labyrinth Easy Path, uh, saving up shards, and if Blade does come to the Featureds in February, if they don't, just, you know, catch the Featureds up with the Basics, um, since they're putting them in the Basics in February and stop doing Featureds altogether, which I don't think they will, but um, if they don't do that, we'll have many shots at Blade, and we'll have good resources by that point. And we talked about selling Arena Champs. Um, so... That's the plan, maxing five-star shards, and there's thankfully there's a ton of content now that allows you to do that and prioritize that and progress quickly in the game if you're very discerning with what you do with your units, um, what content you choose to do, uh, how you choose to spend your time in the game. 
the um, the game's in a really good state. A lot is possible, and it's possible quickly. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, I hope you guys join us on the live streams and all the stuff we'll be doing. I'll be putting out a ton more content on the channel. Um, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be fun. And I'm just as curious as everyone else to see how quickly um, this can all progress. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in a future video. Thank you.